Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of ASMR Skyrim. Here we are. Last time we left off, we need to go to a wedding. And there's no better way to go to a wedding than wearing a giant helmet that has horns on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head off in that direction there. Which I do believe is over that way. So let's bring open the map here. And uh, no, we don't want to fast travel over there. We want to... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the Blue Palace and we're just going to make our way up there to this wonderful, wonderful wedding and we're going to see how exactly we can execute this plan. I do have some things in mind since we've been using archery more and leaning heavier on that. Um, we want to be as quiet as possible. We want to be able to sneak in to our destination and not be seen so we're gonna leave at nighttime here as we look at the nice star sky here and listen to the nice music the Skyrim has if I do say so myself let's see if we can't make our way up to take care of this lady now is there any way for me to get up here Okay, there we go. That didn't really help me much, because I, I need to get up on these walls here. Wait, do I whirlwind, whirlwind sprint? Let's see. I don't remember if I got it. I do. Alright. I'm still not going to be able to do it. Nope, nope. Okay, so we're just going to have to come in this way here. Oh, you guys gonna have a nice night wedding? Okay. I love night weddings. They're great. They're great. Here we are. Alright. So, what we need to do is we need to take care of this lady here. And if you don't know who this lady is, she's a relative of the emperor. And because she's a relative of the emperor, what um, ends up happening is it sets in a motion of events that um, typical imperial wrong. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land, know its people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Nothing. Oh, I know enough. Okay. If we could get our dwarf. I know higher. those troublemaking stormcloaks refuse to submit to imperial authority such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason. And when the elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion, huh? Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exactly. Okay. You guys done? Dum dum diddy diddy -di dum dum dum. Oh, really? Are we gonna wait here forever? Who's detecting me? Oh, well, would you look who it is? Good people of solitude. My husband Aesgir and I thank you for coming to our reception. We thank you for sharing the love we, we have go. for each other. Three, two, These days it seems there one. is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. But I beg you, here, today, put such fears aside. Really? Enjoy yourselves. May you all be as happy in your lives as I 
Victoria, no! Huh? The bride has been murdered! Oh, Somebody no. help! The bride's been murdered. Whatever will they do? All right, and... Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupted. What was that? Nothing. And just like that, nobody saw us. We did it nice and sneakily. Honestly, I, I don't mind doing it that way, but I like the whole personal walking up to the person and just so being exciting like, when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Yeah, I have. I've had plenty of adventures. So let's go back and speak to Astrid now. And every time I say the word say the name Astrid, I I I think of a joke. And um if your name's Astrid, I, I mean no offense to this in any manner whatsoever, but um, it, for some reason, the name Astrid makes me think of the word Astrid for some reason. It just does. And there's, there's a whole thing in a movie about it, and it's just absolutely so silly. But at the same time, it's just, it, it, every time, I just want to chuckle. I do. Now, when I originally played this game, what I did there is, um, I actually just walked up to her and stabbed her. Like, just obliterated <laughs> her. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Yeah, let's see. Remain silent. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Really? Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Okay. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. All right. Are you going to let me get out of this menu here? Well, thank you. Well. As I said, go speak with Gabriella. But She's been assisting me with your next contract. Hey. This emperor is... was a suicide mission. Astrid said as much. Yeah. Dear I'm brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract Rosemary. awaits, I'm as I'm sure Astrid, Astrid indicated. Or a good bite if it takes care of she that. did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. No. Oh. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow. Oh, and no. once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. No. Ah, well, we're just gonna remain silent. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Okay. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes. And? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Oh, okay. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. 
It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Alright. So. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Hmm. So do you know Maru's schedule? No. So your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Hmm. Well, do you know anything about Dragonbridge? It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago. Really? When he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Okay. So, what will killing him accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No. We need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Oh, okay. Well, you have no more lore, so thank you very much. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow, and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. You too. You too. Alright. That was interesting. Wow. I didn't think that quest would go so smoothly. Ah, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. Yeah, I'm sure you're people will ever be forgetting that wedding the anytime soon. Skyrim no longer need our services. You did so much there, buddy. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Any advice on the my current contract? Astrid had me investigate the Penitus Oculatus. Their members are highly trained, effective warriors. Be on your guard, brother. Mm. So, what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Mm. Well, that's all that matters then. Stay safe. Thank you. Alright. Wow. That was interesting. Do you have anything to say? Need something? Yes. Do you have any advice on my current contract? I've taken the liberty of visiting the cities and spreading some nasty rumors about Gaius Marrow. Really? To make his treachery that much more believable. Well, that really isn't much help. Represent us well, brother. Seems like I'm doing all the work and you guys are getting all the glory. But okay. Isn't that how most RPGs go? I love that they keep their area so dimly lit because of how evil they are. Alright. Where are we headed now? Looks like we're headed up here. To Dragon Bridge. Dragon Bridge is a real interesting place. Let's take a look around it real quick. Let's he we'll head over there. We'll, we'll take a look around the town because we have not actually visited and walked through this place. It's actually a very, very nice little quaint town that doesn't have a lot going on, but it does have a lot of scenery, which, in my opinion, is one of the best things about this game, is just how well-crafted the things are in this. You have a nice little mill over here, so you can cut, you can actually come here and cut your own wood, and the bridge here, 
And this is why it's called Dragon Bridge, because this big bridge with a dragon on it. Uh, for the longest time, I had, like, no idea what the purpose of this town was. And it's sort of like a hub to other places. Need something? Uh, no, Tetra. I don't need anything. Father, you worry too. What can I do for you? Nothing. I know you will. Nice All the same. Scene here. Remember everything I said. Stay alert. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. Yeah. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Yes, Hubert. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. Don't mind you me hear? just standing here listening. Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Aw, isn't that cute? That's his wife. Well, Fade is the name. I keep the inn. I was just about to ask if this is the inn, and it is. This is the Four Shields Inn. And we can go. Something Oop. different about you. I can tell. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. Oh, yeah, I am, actually. I am. And then we have some houses here. Where is well, that lazy man? He's right there cutting wood. And it's, it's literally just a quaint. A quiet little quaint town with an inn, um, and a, you know, a couple guards. Beautiful, beautiful scenery here with the river and stuff. Nice waterfall. Of, I definitely would live here. Like, see this house here? I would choose this house mainly because of this right here. Listen. out here each morning I would sit right here on this rock and I would just let the waterfall go just enjoying my coffee in the morning I would, I would absolutely love it like seriously Ugh. you are so lucky you are okay whose house is this all right, that's the lumber camp. All right, so next time we are going to come in here and see if we can't steal the schedule. We might have to wait for a later date and see. I don't know. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and you had a wonderful day. So I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to leave this video a like, and thanks to the patrons at the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.